Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Ness and welcome back to another video where we are currently playing some Clash Realm. I was thinking why not give you something a little bit more different. I just wanted to experiment just a little bit in my channel to see what works and see what doesn't. And it's, uh, I just want to experiment on the things I like to play um, because there's no point in playing things I don't like to play at all. So yeah, I'm doing that. And I just wanted to do a the battle ram challenge that was up like a couple or a week ago. I forgot how long it was up, but what we're gonna do here is really interesting. We're gonna put random each time we do a battle. I already played once, and just to give it a try. But the other two, I'm just gonna record for you guys and do random decks. And one thing I wanted to say, you should look up Divine Diligence. It's my clan. It's a pretty good clan. Whoever's like everyone in here is like um pretty like it's a small amount of people, but they're they're pretty good people. And what we do is unique. We put like shout outs and all that, like who did the most donations and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Something like um I don't think other clans would do, but yeah, that's what we do. But let's get to the gameplay and see how it goes. All right, we're gonna start the game up with the first um, battle for you guys. Let's see what he puts down. He doesn't put anything down. So what I'm gonna do here is put an elixir pump and see what he would do. He doesn't do anything yet. He's gonna put the electro wizard. Interesting. And he puts the miner down. We're gonna put minions to destroy that um, miner over there. We're gonna put our own miner to um, hit the electro wizard. And the minions are doing work down there where the graveyard is at. But unfortunately he did do a good, a good amount of damage. Which is bad but we're going to destroy his with a counter push. Which is awesome. He's going to put a battle ram again. We're going to put minions down. He's shredding the left side. I'm going to put a bomber down to take care of the electro wizard so he won't um, touch my tower. I'm going to put a graveyard with some, um, the what is it called, the bubber? Barbarian, <laughs> the barbarians. I don't know what that was, but we're about to take this second tower soon. It has a little bit of health. We got this. All right, he has the princess. I'm gonna wait until the princess locks into my tower so it won't target um my troops. I'm gonna put the battle ram. I'm gonna put the bomber, or just gonna put the lightning. Actually, is better. And then I'm going to use the one other Barbarian to destroy the Princess. I'm going to shred his tower. We're going to use the Miner. He's going to put his, um, what's it called for the Miner? I'm going to put a Bomber. Unfortunately, my Bomber got destroyed. And we're going to put Minions once the Prince is locked in again to destroy the Princess. And we're combining the Barbarian, um, Barbarians with the Minions. The Battle Ram, I meant. We're gonna destroy this tower and get the W, boys! Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Okay, we're gonna do another random deck. Um, so you can see real quick, because I don't, um, I don't make these decks. I just click random just for you guys, just for you to know. Just click the random button on the side. We're gonna fast forward. Okay, he puts the battle ram with the um, mini dragon. Put the executioner with the barbarians, and the executioner should help out with the minions down below. There you go. Unfortunately, got a good push, but we're gonna counter push and see how much. Yes, we got the other tower. Heck yeah, the executioner is doing work in the main tower, which is sweet. I'm gonna put the P.E.K.K.A. and combine it with the cannon. My peg is gonna hit him, and then we're gonna destroy these barbarians. Good little push. He's gonna put down a bar, a goblin barrel. Let's see barbarians. Heck no, he did not put barbarians. We're gonna have a good little push on the left side. He's gonna put his mini dragon. We're gonna put the executioner to take care of that freaking dragon, and also hitting the tower at the same time, which is awesome. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. We got a good good little hits coming from the executioner. Training his life. He had, He's hoping to get that tower. This is his only choice. So we're going to put the barbarians combining with the, um, what's it called? The battle ram. 
I don't know why I'm forgetting the name. I'm not good with names. As you can see, we're gonna have a good bit of barbarians on the left side. There's no way he's gonna freaking survive this. I'm gonna have the arrows just in case. Unfortunately, they didn't destroy the tower, but I'm gonna put the arrows for the W again. Let's go. So far, so good. Two wins. Let's get this thing, boy. I am surprised I'm doing good with these random decks because honestly they could be expensive and I don't want an expensive deck or a, something that I can't even work with for certain uh, decks. Okay, we got this guy with the uh, prince and his minions and I put down an inferno dragon and a tornado but I didn't have anything to counter his minions. He's gonna shred my tower because of that. Which was bad. Really, really, really bad. So we're gonna put this battle ramp. Let's see what he does. He puts an inferno tower to destroy my battle ramp. I'm gonna put a goblin barrel, but he puts a wizard to destroy my minions, which is bad. He does a counter push. He has that. And he got a hit, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna get a couple hits there. See, like I, I have nothing. He destroyed one of my towers eventually. He sucks. He has a good push on the left side. I'm trying to counter, trying to push, split push on the right side. But unfortunately, I couldn't do anything. He puts a battle ram down. He destroys my right push. And he's going for another push on the right side, which is horrible. We're losing, and we only have 10 seconds left. Unfortunately, we are not going to get this win. That battle ram hit the inferno tower. That was good at his part. It's pretty good, pretty good. I mean, I, I didn't do bad for it. A random deck, like it's a random deck. I can't do much with it, but whatever. We're gonna do another random deck and see how that goes. Okay, see what he does. He put the battle ram. He put the battle ram in the same spot. See what he does. I'm gonna put a tombstone. He's probably gonna. Destroy. Nope, he didn't even hit my tombstone. I'm gonna put the lumberjack on the side to get a little push on the left side. I'm gonna have I have two pushes right now. One in the right, one in the left. You have to choose which one you want to face. I'm gonna shred some on the right side. Alright, my barbarian locked in on the right side. We're doing good and um the mini skeletons are um doing work on that ice golem. I'm gonna put a bomb tower but it got destroyed and then I put an electro tower or tesla I meant I put the wizard down because he put the graveyard so he can handle the graveyard another thing to counter that it's um what is it called skeleton army you can counter the graveyard with that too he's gonna destroy no he didn't destroy my electro wizard which is great we got another tower or we just got our first tower and we did some work on the left side of this tower which is awesome he has barely did any damage on mine we well, did quite a bit but we're still good put the bomb tower just in case he puts another troop but he bombed it so that sucks for me i'm gonna do another push on the left side he's gonna push my right side but he's not too good at it what we're gonna do is put some minions on the middle but his executioner destroy i'm gonna put a tesla there to help with the prince problem. He has an ice goblin coming, now he has an electro wizard as well. And he uses bomb power to destroy the um, electro wizard on the side. So another wizard to handle the graveyard. He's doing quite a bit of damage on my left side. I'm gonna put a battle ram for a push. So he doesn't put a tombstone. He's oh, he, he literally lost. He put too much elixir down on that tower he should have waited just a bit i'm gonna get this win he made a mistake and three two one another win heck yeah it was either i was gonna win on the on the core or at the time the main tower but we did good we did good our third win and we're gonna go for another random deck and see how that goes hell yeah all right, all right, all right. Let's see how this goes. Let's see what he puts. Good luck, princess. Just in case, I want to see what else he puts down. 
I'm gonna put anything down. I'm gonna put the battle ram to help with uh, what's it called those bars. Unfortunately, I I don't know what to do. I spaz, I'm gonna put the road giant down in that freaking um dark gar dark goblin is doing some great chip damage to my tower which is horrible that dark goblin does a lot of work i'm gonna combine my graveyard with the um royal giant so the royal giant can take most of the hits but unfortunately it's not really a good push at all or a good tactic i got destroyed but i'm using this um execution to take down the monsters not monsters but troops on the right side the enemy troops and if you hear that I am sorry my brothers just take the worst time to take a shower it's so dumb can't respect the not any guys time all right they're shredding they're shredding me they're shredding me I'm getting this tower on the right side left side I mean a good push on the left side and then try to counter push him put the execution down and put the miner over there so I can get a tower at least that freaking dark goblin is doing great chip damage again unfortunately our tower is so low he could counter push so good I, unfortunately I didn't have anything to stop that um, battle ram if I had the tombstone that would have helped a lot but no we got a loss again and that hit is it for us that's our three losses for this video um whatever i did pretty good for just clicking on random decks i would say but yeah that's it for the video and one thing i want to say you should look up divine Dil divine diligence yeah divine diligence and we're a pretty good clan like i said we're pretty unique in a way i guess but it's up to you guys to join or not but um yeah that's it for the video like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace